This demo will be gouache paint on top of a gessoed wood panel. And so we have our gouache and our secret weapon, which will help the gouache paint to stick, will be this matte medium. Now I've got some gouache paint spread out onto my palette. And here is my matte medium. And I'm going to add a couple of drops to each one. And then just going to go ahead and mix it up. The thing with this matte medium is it will make your gouache paint a little bit less opaque and a little bit more transparent. So if you want to have flat, transparent areas, you would probably have to uh, add several coats. Okay, I'm going to do the rest off, off the video. Now... As you can see, there's a line drawing on top of the um, gessoed panel. And I did the line drawing. First, I did the line drawing on tracing paper. And then later on, I um, transferred it to the, uh, to the wood panel using uh, transfer paper. Or as you all know, if you don't have transfer paper, you could put graphite on the back of uh, tracing paper and then redraw the, um, your drawing. Anyway, so here it goes. Um, I got that, that down. And um, it's like a like a little mountain and some clouds and you can see the sky and then there's going to be ground. And so in this case, in this case, I particularly like arbitrary color schemes. And uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So instead of having like a um, blue sky, I'm going to make a sky that is like a magenta. And have a little cloud right there. And then there's going to be a mountain right here. And then some more clouds. As Bob Ross would say, happy little clouds. <laughs> and... So I'm just going to lay this in really quickly. And like I said, with this gouache paint with the matte medium added to it, it loses its opacity a little bit, but not to worry because if you want it, if your goal was to get flat graphic shapes, you could just put on a second coat and, um, that should work out. So class, I'm gonna stop it for a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, there's the background or the sky part and I made um, a lighter value of the sky because I'm gonna use that as the ground and I'm gonna add a drop of matte medium to that to ensure that it will stick to the board, mixing it up. I hope you guys can see that. There we go. So like I said, I wanna paint the, uh, the ground. It's going to be a very subtle difference. Very subtle. It's going to be a, a happy magenta-ish ground. <laughs> kind of surreal, I guess, is the way I could describe it. Arbitrary colors. Sometimes arbitrary colors can be uh, 
interesting. Okay, so I did that. And of course, like if I need more details, I could come in with a smaller brush. And just lay it in like so. Okay, I'm gonna stop it. Okay, so I'm back and now you can see that um, I finished the background and I added um, a little bit more values in the sky um, just because I thought it would be uh, uh, kind of interesting. Also, I transferred this uh, man's figure in uh, on the, on the uh, paint and I used the white transfer paper uh, because transfer paper also comes in different colors like uh, white and black. I even think they might even have red. Anyway, so did that and now I could get started painting. And so like I have my palette and and then I mixed um, a little bit of this uh, blue. It's well, kind of like a uh, shady blue. And um, I think I'm gonna paint some of that on the hat. And it's gonna be like a, a checkerboard pattern. And there's a lot of them. So I think what I'll do is I'll just paint a few of them so that you get the idea. And then I'll just go ahead and stop it. Okay, I'm back. And so you can see that I painted in some more of the, um, the shapes. And now I'm gonna paint some more. Some checkerboards. Once again, this is a mixture of a gouache paint with just a little bit of um, matte medium added to it so that it will be compatible with the gesso that we laid down earlier, the very start of this project. And let's see, how about this area? I want to make that black. that black and maybe down here some triangles I like patterns patterns are um, well obviously rep repetitious but I don't know, something about them that I like to use them in my um, illustrations or even in my own paintings, personal paintings. These are, I'm, this is really tiny. You know, it's I'm doing a small sized demo for you and it's hard to, to get the details, but I think you get the idea. I'll do one more section and then I'll stop it and then continue on in another um, segment, I guess. That's the word. Okay, I'll stop it. Okay, um, I'm back. And now you can see that I've continued on painting uh, the figure. And it looks like it needs to have a a head or a face and also um, a hands or hand and I'm going to do this kind of abstractly you know it's not going to have a lot of detail to it very simple in my case and I want to treat this simple and coming back to the arm and as a reminder this is just gouache paint with a little bit matte medium added to it and not that much water because the matte medium kind of dissolves 
the gouache paint anyway. And there's a finger, another finger, and another finger. And like I said earlier, if you needed to get more opacity, you could you could put more layers on top of it if you want. Okay. And I think I'm going to paint up. I'm going to activate this um, this half. So I'm going to paint this white. It's my little. It'll be my little surprise for you students. Little surprise. So let me finish doing this. And then I will stop the video and resume in a minute or two. Okay, so I'm going to stop it. Okay, now I'm back. And um wanted to finish this off for you folks and wanted to add a little twist to this image a little twist to this image by um inserting a little bit of my sense of uh i don't know Gothic horror. And as a reminder again, this is still the gouache paint with a little bit of matte medium added to it so that it will stick to the wood. Pretty fun. It's a pretty fun uh, medium. Keep on going. On this wood panel, you have all kind of choices. You could do something autobiographical. You could do something historical. You could do something entertainment oriented. Uh, transportation oriented you know it's really up to you it's really how you want to take it um, and there's all kind of different mediums that you could use and uh, so this is one of the demos that I've, I'm, I'm doing for you folks but I'm going to do uh, try to squeeze in a couple of more later on so that you could see that there's a lot of ways to take this and I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but kind of going too fast, perhaps at times, because it's turning sloppy. Um, okay, almost there, almost there. Okay, that's it. My little sense of gothic horror with a little head resting down there, guy standing above it, and a mountain in the back. Um, all done in uh, gouache matte medium on the wood panel with a little with gesso at the very beginning. So that's it. Thanks, guys.